mighty. Is our God mighty? Yes. Our God is greater than any of those things. At this moment, as we worship the Lord, I'm challenging everyone to put your faith in it as you sing. And everything else, everything else, lahat po ng problema, lahat ng sakit, everything will turn upside down. For, for our God is mighty. He is mighty to save. Amen. Oh, we worship you, Lord, in this place. Let's lift up our hands to God. You hold my every moment. You calm my raging seas. You walk. With me through fire and healed all my disease, I trust in you. I trust in you. Let's do it one more time. You hold my hand. with me, Lord.
welcome you in this very place, O oh God, as we welcome you in our worship. We welcome you in our hearts, O oh Lord. As we allow you to take over, O oh God. Take over, Father. As we dedicate this service to you and you alone, God. Only you be exalted, only you be glorified. Wrap us, O oh God, in the warmth of your love. As you embrace us this morning. Let your tender mercy, O so God, be felt upon this place. As we honor you today, we welcome your very presence, O oh God. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, our Father. And reign in our midst. Let your Holy Spirit teach us once again. Let your Holy Spirit, O oh God, demonstrate your awesome power. And as we come unto you, Lord, in the beauty of your holiness, help us, O oh God, to know your word. In the name of Jesus, heal us today. As you remove God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every works of darkness, every lies and deception of the enemy, let it crumble down right now in Jesus' name. Every binding is spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. And let this place be a holy ground for you alone. As we exalt your name. Thank you, Father. And receive by your grace, by your spirit, O oh God, your personal touch as you visit us today. Thank you, Lord, hide your servant under the shadow of thy wings. Only your name be exalted as we give you praise, as we give you glory, as we give you honor. Blessed is your name. This we ask, this we pray in Jesus' name. Let's give the blessed God offering of praise. As we give reference to the reading of the word of God, please turn your Bible with me in the book of Daniel, chapter 3, beginning verse 8 to verse 18. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Sabayan niyo po ako sa pagbasa. Sabi po sa aklat ng Daniel, kabanata 8, talata, oh, kabanata 3, talata 8. And sabi po rito, therefore at that time, certain Chaldeans came forward and accused the Jews. Susunod po, pakibasa po. Verse 10, it says, You, O king, have made decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and psaltery, in symphony with all kinds of music, shall fall down and worship the gold image. Susunod po, pakibasa po ulit. Verse 12 says, And there are certain Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and this man, O king, have not paid due regard to you. They do not serve your gods or worship the gold in which you have set up. Next po, ibasa po ulit. Verse 14, they come to Nassar's folk, saying to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the gold image which I have set? Verse 15, po. Now, if you are ready. Verse 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. Verse 17, sabi sabi po tayo, If this is the case, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. Verse 18, But if not, 
Let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the bold image which you have set up. Ang Diyos po magpapala sa kanyang banal salita, makakaupo na po tayong lahat under the sweet and direction of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the anointed worship leading team that continually ushers us in the presence of the living God. Magandang umaga po sa kanilang lahat. Sabihin po natin sa inyong katabi, kumusta ka sa araw na ito? Magandang umaga sa iyo. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today is about faith and it is called Faith Exemplified. Atayin po natin na makita po natin, sinasabi po ng salita ng ating Panginoon in Mark 11 and 24 that as we believe in the Word of God, something good is, not, is about to happen in our midst. Sabihin nyo nga sa inyong katabi, nananampalataya ka ba na may magandang bagay na gagawin ng Diyos sa buhay mo sa araw na ito? Sino pong nananampalataya? Pumalakpak po tayo sa ating Panginoon. Praise the Lord Jesus. As we move on to our slide, the definition of faith, or kung titignan po natin in our introduction, ang sabi po rito, faith is one of the most essential part in the life of a Christian. As you look po, it is one of the three graces a believer can have. Sabi po sa 1 Corinthians chapter 13, beginning verse 13, if we can show it, please. And sabi po rito, and now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of this is love. So tatlong graces po, ang sinasabi po na salita ni Diyos in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 13, and that is faith, hope, and love, but the greatest is love. Moving on, ang sabi po sa ating pinag-aaralan, and it is also God who gave us the faith. In Romans chapter 1, beginning verse 17, tignan po natin, as sinasabi na salita ni Diyos, for in the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, and it is written, the just shall live by faith. Next slide, please. Tignan po natin ang sinasabi na salita ng ating Panginoon. In our introduction, mapapansin po natin in 2 Peter chapter 1, beginning verse 5, that Apostle Peter listed faith as one of the seven necessary virtues. Tignan po natin in 2 Peter chapter 1, beginning verse 5. But also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge. So makikita po natin, according to Apostle Paul, that one of the virtues is also faith. Back to the slide please, tingnan po natin. Ang sabi po rito, uh, pasinin po natin yung sa ating introduction. Ang susunod po na sinabi po yan is that also one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, according to Galatians chapter 5, beginning verse 22, is faithfulness. And the gifts of the Holy Spirit as well, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, beginning verse 9, is that we God has given us the gift of faith. And finally, the Lord Jesus said in Mark 11, 24, have faith in God. Sabi niyo sa inyo katabi, kaya mo bang manampalataya sa inyong Diyos na pinaglilingkuran? Amen po ba? Sabi niyo sa inyo katabi, kumusta naman ang pananampalataya mo sa ating Panginoon? Okay pa po ba? Matibay pa po ba? Ang pananampalataya po po natin ay matatagpa po sa ating Panginoon. Ito po ang ating samot na lang sa ating Diyos na buhay. Moving on to the next slide, please. Makikita po natin ang dalawa pong katanungan. Ang sabi po rito, according to 1 Peter chapter 1, beginning verse 7, Will our faith pass the test? Sabihin niyo sa inyo katabi, kailangan iyong maunawaan ng iyong pananampalataya ay laging dadaan sa apoy. Amen po ba? We should know that they will always be tested. Ang ating pong pananampalataya ay laging masusubukan. Kaya po, sumunod na tanong is that how strong is our faith? Gano'n po katatag, katibay ang ating pananampalataya? Moving on to the next slide this. How are we going to define faith? Tingnan po natin, sinasabi po na salita ng Diyos. It came from the Greek word pestis. Which means confidence, conviction, trust, belief, reliance, trustworthiness, and persuasion. Let's show it all this. Susunod pang definition, it is the divinely implanted principle of inward confidence, assurance, trust, and reliance in God and all that He says. And of course, it denotes the object or content of the lip. Acts chapter 6, beginning verse 7. Tingnan po natin, sinasabi sa Acts chapter 6, beginning verse 7. Ang sabi po na salita ng Diyos that the word of God spread and the number of the disciples multiplied great in Jerusalem and a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. Makikita po natin, katulad po na sinasaad na salita ng ating pinon, ang pananampalataya po, balik po tayo sa slide test, ang pananampalataya po ay simple 
na ito ay isang kumpiyansya po natin, pagtitiwala, ito po isang conviction po natin, at ito po ay divinely implanted, na ilagay po ito sa ating mga puso. Doon po sa una sinasabi po natin, sabi po ng ating pinag-aaralan, God has given us faith. Ibig po sabihin, the moment we accepted, we see Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, Inilagay na po ng Diyos sa atin ang isang pananampalataya na si Jesus ay namatay, na buhay na magbuli, at ang sino masumampalataya sa Kanya ay magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. Are you with me? Aside from that, aside that we have that saving faith because of accepting and knowing Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior, meron po sinasabing set of beliefs or declaration or principles in every churches. Kaya pag pupunta po tayo sa ibang mga church, lalo na po yung iba na nagpupunta sa ibang mga churches, makikita po natin na iba-iba po ang mga set of beliefs, iba-iba po ang mga set of principles, iba-iba po ang sinatawag po natin mga declaration dahil ito po ay kasama sa kanilang pinanampalatayaan. Dito po sa JIL, nagbigay po si Bishop Brother Eddie na tinatawag po natin JIL Declaration of Faith. And these are the set of principles or the content of our belief. This is what we believe in our heart. Kabisado po ba natin yung 15 declaration of faith po natin? Sino po nakakabisa? Taas po ang kamay. Ala pong nagtaas. Sino po ang nakakabisa? Ang number one po natin declaration is the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ano po ang pangalawa? Is the Holy Scripture. Ano po ang pangatlo? The Eternal Godhead. Pang-apat, the Fall of Men. Pang-lima, the Plan of Redemption. Ang susunod po is Salvation through Grace. Ang susunod is Repentance and Acceptance. Number eight is the New Word. Ang susunod is Water, Baptism, and the Lord's Supper. Number ten is Baptism and the Holy Spirit. We also believe in the gifts and the fruit of the Holy Spirit. We also believe in the Divine Healing. We also believe in the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and of course the tithes and offering and last that we believe our principle is that we have this kingdom dominion of living. Are you with me? Palapakan po natin ang ating Panginoon. Sabihin po sa inyo katabi, Amen or rise mo yan. Amen po ba? Para po pagka kayo ay dinidipatan ng kung sino-sino. Alam niyo po kung ano po ang tinatayaan po natin, ano po yung ating pinaniniwalaan para hindi po tayo maligaw. Are you with me? Going on to the next slide, please. Moving on. Tingnan po natin kung ano po ang dalawang klase ng pananampatalataya. Let's show it all, please. Number one is the natural faith. This is the faith that is innate in us or that we are born with. Ito po yung nasa sa atin na. Bakit po kayo nagpapadoktor? Kasi ang isip po natin, gagaling tayo sa doktor. Tama po ba? Bakit doon lahat na sasabihin ng doktor, ginagawa po natin. Pag sabihin, bilhin po to, kahit pagka mahal-mahal, sige, binibili po natin. Bakit maraming mga kababaihan nagpupunta sa mga dermatological clinic para magpaganda kahit ang mahal-mahal ng mga ipabahid, sige, bilhin lang. Kasi naniniwala tayo na tayo ay gaganda. Are you with me? Hello? Kaya mapapansin po natin, eto yung tinatawag nating natural faith. Innate na po sa atin na, nasa sa atin po yan. Kaya marami mga tao, they are so very gullible, lahat pinaniniwalaan. Kaya marami, dahil hindi nila alam kung ano yung prinsipyo na sinasabi na salita ng Diyos, hindi nila alam, papunta na sila ng ipierto. Are you with me? Kaya kinakailangan, suriin po natin ano po ba ang talagang pananampalataya na nasa atin. Pangalawa pong panapa kind of faith is that we call the supernatural faith which is also referred to as the saving faith. Ephesians chapter 2, beginning verse 8. Ang sabi po na salita ni Diyos in Ephesians chapter 2, beginning verse 8. For by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of ourselves it is the gift of God. Sabihin nyo sa inyo katabi, nilaganuhan ka ng Diyos ng isang pananampalataya. Na ang pananampalatayang yun ay nakaangkla sa salita ng Diyos. Ang pananampalatayang yun ay nakaangkla sa ginawa ng Panginoon Yesu Cristo doon sa Cruz ng Calvary. Amen? Not in any religion. Not in any institution. Not in any man's word. But through the power of the word of the living God. Hallelujah! Moving on to the next slide please. Tingnan po natin ang sinasabi ng salita ng Diyos about the basis of faith. 
Ang sampo pa nagmumula ang ating pananampalataya. Of course, number one is the nature of God. Hebrews chapter 11, beginning verse 3. Ang napun natin sinasabi sa lita ng Diyos. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are said were not made of things which are visible. Na sinabi po ng Panginoon, let there be light and there was light. Na sinabi po ng Diyos, let there be darkness and there was light. Na sinabi ng Diyos, we will form and make this man according to our image and likeness. Then there was man who ate it according to the image and the likeness of God. So mapapansin po natin ang basis ng ating pananampalatayan kasi ito yung sinabi ng Diyos. The nature of God that is loving, compassionate, merciful, slow to anger. The nature of God na ini-embrace po natin dahil alam po natin pag lumapit tayo sa Diyos, hindi po tayo mapapahiya. Are you with me? Sabihin niyo sa inyo katabi, lapit ka lang lagi sa Panginoon. Dahil lagi ka niyang pinakikinggan. Amen? Pahalawa pong basis ng ating faith, of course, the redemptive work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Colossians chapter 1, beginning verse 12 to 14. Ang sabi po sa aklat na Colossa, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sin. The second basis of our faith is that of the redemptive work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Balikan po natin, sabi po rito, He has delivered us from the power of darkness. Nung hindi pa po tayo nakakakilala sa ating Panginoon, we are blinded in everything. Ang sabi po ng salita ng Diyos, the God of this world, which is Satan, which is the enemy of our faith, siya po ang nagbibigay ng takip sa ating mga mata para hindi po natin makilala ang kapangyarihan ng ating Diyos na buhay. Mapapansin po natin, nung tayo po ay nasa rinay yung pangkinagisnan po natin, blinded tayo sa ating maraming mga bagay, hindi po natin kaya palang palatayaan ang ginawa ng ating Diyos nung sa Cruz del Barrio. But, because of what the Lord has done at the cross of Calvary, nakita natin, pinalaya tayo sa pagkakagapos ng kaaway mula sa kanyang tanggala. Amen? Through the power of the blood of the Lamb, through the power of the cross, we are redeemed and receive all the benefits at the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah! Amen po ba? Palakpakan po natin ang ating Diyos. Kaya pinalaya po tayo ng ating Panginoon. Naalala ko po nung sinishare ng pagpo ako ng mami ko, uh, I, I, I came to know the Word of God at the age of 15. You know, bilangin. Bata pa rin po ako. <laughs> and after knowing the Lord Jesus Christ, hindi ko totally nagsurrender pa ako sa Panginoon. Dahil kabataan po at the age of 15. Every time na uwi po ako, huwag gagawin ng nanay ko, pinagtipray niya po ako lagi. Lilay hands niya po ako, lalagay niya yung kanyang kamay sa akin ulo lang. Pinagtipray niya po ako palagi. At dumating po minsan, ako po'y nagising habang siya pinagtipray at naglilay hands niya sa akin. Nagalit po ako sa kanya, sabi ko, Mami, ano ba ginagawa mo sa akin? Kaya pala ako binabangungot. Kaya pala ako, ano na masamang panaginip ang meron ako kasi hindi ko naiintindihan because I am blinded. Yun yung sinasabing the power of darkness. But after receiving Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior, hallelujah, that darkness was removed, we are set free by the blood of the Lamb, and we are forgiven from every sin, iniquity, and transgression, and that settles everything. Hallelujah. Pahalo pong bagay na basis of faith, ay tingnan po natin ang sinasabi po na salita ng Diyos, let's show it, na pangatlong bagay is through the word of God. Kaya po sabi sa Romans chapter 10, beginning verse 17, Faith cometh but by hearing, and hearing the word of God. Sabihin nyo sa inyong katabi, huwag kang matulog habang pinapangaral ang salita ng Diyos. Tama po ba? Wala po akong pinaparinggan. Amen po? Kasi mga minsan, meron pong lumapit po sa amin, ito ay panahon pa ng Arroyo Days, may lumapit po sa amin na isang gusto mag, 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 magpa-pray, thank you siya, Brother Eddie. Sabi niya, pwede ba akong may pag-pray ni Brother Eddie? Sabi ko, very, very sure. Kaya na po, nagtuturo na si Brother Eddie, pwede ko bang makinig muna po kayo. After 15 or 20 minutes, lapit uli po sa amin yung, yung mama, yung, yung lalaki. Sabi niya, gano'n pa ba katagal magtuturo si Brother Eddie? And knowing Brother Eddie, it will take two hours. 
sa kanya pong pag-deliver ng kanyang message. Sabi po namin, have faith. Basta nakikinig lang po kayo kasi naniniwala po kami habang nakikinig po kayo, pag-aagalinin po kayo ng ating Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng kanya salita. After 20 minutes, balik uli siya. Sabi niya, hindi pa ba matatapos si Brother Eddie? Eh talaga kailangan magpa-pray na ako kasi may pupuntahan pa ako ganito, ganyan. And he was stage 4 prostate cancer. Imagine. At nagmamadali po siya. Nasabi po namin, binasaan po namin siya ng salita ng Diyos, binasa po namin ang Romans 10, 17 sa kanya. Tingnan niyo po sa aking salita ng Diyos. Faith counted by hearing and hearing the word of God. You need the word in your heart because that seed will be the one to grow and establish your faith within you. That by the stripes of Jesus, you will receive His miracle of healing and life in your very being. Are you with me? Pero hindi niya na po tinapos. Sad to say. Umalis na po siya. Sabi niya, babalik na lang ako ulit. O kaya pupunta ako na lang siya sa opisina niya. And after that, nabalitaan na lang po namin, namatay na po yung gustong magpangalangin dahil nagmamadali po siya. Kailangan po may establish yung salita ng ating Panginoon sa ating mga puso. Are you with me? Yan ang katlong basis ng ating pananampalataya. Not unless we meditate on the Word of God. Kaya nga may Joshua chapter 1, beginning verse 8. Thou shalt meditate the Word of God day and night. Sabihin niyo sa inyo katabi, araw, gabi. Pagbubula yan. Ang sipag-sipag po natin laging tingnan ang lahat ng mga text messages natin pag gising sa umaga. Nag-i-scroll na tayo kaagad. Are you with me, church? Dinitingnan na natin, ako may miss call pala ako. Nako, ito pala yung message, yung message lang naman. Kain na ba you? Musta na ba you? Where na you? Ligo na ba you? Are you with me? Pero ang salita ng Diyos, magbibigay sa atin na it will make our way prosperous and give us great success. Hallelujah! That's why we need to meditate on it. Kaya po pag nagpapasa tayo ng salita ng Diyos so that we can hear the word of God, we should be always reciting the word of God as we read it. Kaya lang, basahin po natin ang palakas para napapakinggan po natin at titibay ang ating mga pananampalataya. Moving on to the next slide, please. Tingnan po natin ang iba't ibang klaseng pananampalataya or the faith essentials or the essentials of faith or the levels of faith. Tingnan po natin ang sinasabi ng level of faith Sabi po na salita ng Diyos, number one, based on Romans chapter 12, beginning verse 3. Tingnan po muna natin ang Romans chapter 12, 3 and Matthew 9, 29. For I say through the grace given to me to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he hoped to think, but to think soberly as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Binigyan po tayo ng Diyos ng kanya-kanyang measure of faith. Kaiba-iba yung level ng ating mga pananampalataya. Matthew chapter 9, beginning verse 29, sabi po na salita ng Diyos, Then He touched your eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. It is always according to the measure of our faith. Kaya hindi pa sasabihin nila, eh bakit siya gumaling agad? Bakit ako? Tagal-tagal ko na nagpe-pray, hindi pa ako gumagaling. Yung iba sinasabi nila, bakit hindi pa naliligtas ang mga magulang ko? Tagal-tagal ko na pinagpe-pray ang aking pamilya. Ang sabi ng salita ng Diyos, according to the measure of your faith. Sabihin niyo nga sa inyo katabi, kumusta naman ang iyong pananapalataya? Unahin po natin, the little or the weak faith. It is a fearful displaying a lack of total trust. Matthew chapter 8, 26. Tingnan po natin. Tingnan po natin lahat ng mga verses. That he said to them, why are you fearful? O you of little faith. Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea and there was a great calm. Ito ba yung pagkakataon na sila po yung naglalayag kasama po ng Panginoon Yesus ang kanyang mga disipulo? Natutulog po, nagpapahinga ang Panginoon Yesus, bigla po siyang ginising ng kanyang mga disipulo at sabi niya, napakalakas ng hangin, may bagyong paparating, tulog ka pa, natulog. Kaya sabi ng salita ng Diyos at sabi ng Panginoon Yesus Christo, anong pinatatakot niyo? Kasama niyo nga ako? So palagay niyo ba, lulubog ang sinasakyan niyong bangka? Kasama niyo ako? Kaya sabi niya, O ye of little faith, Ang liit naman ang inyong pananampalataya. Ano ba po yung susunod na mga verses po natin? Tingnan mo po natin. Sinasabi po na salita ng ating Panginoon. Sabi po sa Matthew chapter 6 beginning verse 30, Now if God so clothes the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will He not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Marami po sa atin nag-aalala na maraming 
bagay. Tulad po kayo, yung iba, nagmamadali, like, sinasabi na, kontala mo, turo ng ating pastor. Nagugutom na ako, etc., etc. Pero sabi ng salita ni Diyos, yung gambag alala sapagkat ang Panginoon ang magpo-provide ng lahat ng iyong mga pangangailangan. Sabi niyo na sa inyo, kapatid, provide everything that you need. Just believe in Him. Amen po ba? Manapalataya lamang tayo. Diba, Ate Melly, pinrovide ng Panginoon ang pangangailangan ni Brother Kaloy. Not, manapakabun natin ang ating Diyos. Yung ating po isang kasama for the glory of God. Kasama po natin sa ating uh, worship meeting thing si Brother Kaloy. Bigla po siyang immediate operation. Quadruple bypass. No po? And they need 1.5 million. But praise God, natapos ang operasyon, iprinubayd ng Diyos ang lahat ng bagay, hindi mo sila nangita. For the glory of the living God. If you believe, God will able, be able to provide everything. Hallelujah. Ano pa pa yung mga susunod na mga verses po natin? Ang sabi po rito sa... Matthew chapter 14, beginning verse 8, 28 to 31. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And so he said, come. And when Peter had come down out of that boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, Oh, ye of little faith, why did you doubt? Sabihin niyo sa inyo katabi, ang pagdududa ay kaaway ng pananampalataya. Kaya wag kang pagdududa. Amen po ba? Bakit ka magdududa kung kailangan ibibigay naman sa iyo ng Lord ang lahat ng mga bagay? Nung nagkasakit po ang mami ko, he was diagnosed way back of... He, he, she went home to the Lord at uh, 2009. She was diagnosed 2005. She was diagnosed of ovarian cancer. Hindi ko alam kung saan kamay ng Diyos namin kukunin ang lahat ng aming pangangailangan. But still, the Lord in His promises provided for everything. Kung ginawa ko yun ng Diyos sa amin, kaya rin mo nang gawin ng Diyos yan sa inyong lahat according to your faith. Pakalawa pong bagay, tignan po natin, after the little and the weak faith, tignan po natin yung susunod na level of faith. Ang sabi po rito is the great faith. It is the unrelenting, totally persuaded type of faith that does not give up until the request is granted. Matthew chapter 8, beginning verse 10. Ang sabi po sa Matthew 8, 10, and Jesus heard it, He marveled and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not in even in Israel. Ito ho yung isang pananapalataya na hindi mo kayang baliin. Ito yung isang pananapalataya na pagka sinabi ng salita ng Diyos, tatayuan na yun. At patuloy niyang ititiklara, ito ang pangako ng ating Panginoon. When I was diagnosed 1990, I was diagnosed of myocardial infarction. May malaking bara po sa aking artery, sa main artery ng aking puso. That was 1990. Ang sabi po ng doktor, ng cardiology, sabi niya sa akin, ano ba ang trabaho po? Sabi ko, that time I was already pastoring. Sabi niya sa akin, titigil mo muna yung pagpapastor mo, very strenuous sa pagpapastor, kaya kailan tumigil ka kasi isang atake lang ng iyong MI, tigong ka kaagad. Ang ginawa ko po, lagi ko po pinagpipray. Pagtulog, bago matulog, pagisik sa umaga, lahat po ng aking mga laboratory examinations, ipapanalangin ko, inilehens ko po yung sarili ko, itatas ko yung isang kamay ko at sasabihin ko, Lord, your promise is this! By your stripes, I will be healed and I declare I am healed in Jesus' name. Because you have put everything, you brought everything at the cross of Calvary. After a month, pinabalik po ako ng aking cardiologist. Pagbalik ko po, nag-test mo din from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock. After that, by 5 or 6 o'clock, nakita po kami. Dinireview niya po sa harapan ko lahat po ng mga... Nakita po doon sa aking uh, uh, laboratory examination. Titingin po siya sa examination, iilay, tapos titingin po sa akin, kinabahan na po ako. Sabi ko, Dok, ano po ba ang nakita niyo sa aking laboratory? As examination. Sabi niya, this is amazing. Sabi ko, ano pong amazing? Ang kanyang deklarasyon, 
there is no trace of your myocardial infarction for the glory of the living God. I was miraculously healed. After five years, bumalik ko yung chest pain ko. Nagpunta na naman po ako sa panibagong cardiologist because the irony of my story is that yung cardiologist ko, yun ang namatay at inatake sa puso. Pero dito sa bagong cardiologist, sabi niya, bakit may peklat ang puso mo? At nakalimutan ko na po, five years na, sabi ko, bakit nga ba may peklat ang puso ko? Hindi naman ako nasawi sa pag-ibig. Hindi <laughs> naman ako member ng Camp Sawi. <laughs> And God reminded me as the Lord rebuked me. Sabi niya, Heaven, you for, have you forgotten that I have already healed you? At sabi ko din sa doktor, Doc, I have this diagnosis five years ago of myocardial infarction. And now, I was completely healed. Palakpak po siya kasi boy again din po siya. Sabi niya, yung scar na nasa puso mo, magpapatoktoo, magpapatibay, you are miraculously healed by the power of the living God. According to your faith. Hallelujah! Wala pong nanghirap at imposible sa ating pangyari. Susunod po, binisa na po natin. Number three, four, and five. Sabi po dito, strong faith, the faith that refuses to surrender, or VDP, then Romans chapter 4, beginning verse 20. Ano po sinasabi ng Romans chapter 4, beginning verse 20? He did not waver at the promises of God, through and the death, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. That was the Abraham faith. Yung pananapalataya po ni Abraham, na sinabi ng Panginoon, ihandog mo sa akin ang iyong anak, at ikay patuloy na gagamitin ko, kakasangkapanin ko, ginawa niya po yun. Yung may tinatawag na strong faith. Number four, Ang sabi po, ang susunod po pala ng palata is the growing faith. This is the steadily progresses from a weak little faith to strong great faith. Ano po sabi sa 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 beginning verse 3. Ang sabi po sa 2 Thessalonians 1, 3, We are bound to thank God always for your brethren at His fitting because your faith grows exceedingly and the love of every one of you all abounds toward each other. Pag sinabing growing faith, nagsimula po tayong lahat sa sinting pala ng palataya. Habang lumalalim tayo sa salita ni Diyos, salang nakakalig natin ang ating Panginoon, ang kanyang presensya, pa tayo patuloy at pupurit, nananong pala tayo sa kain gawin ng ating Panginoon. Then, from the weak little faith, it grows to stronger, it grows to greater, it grows an acting faith until we realize that we live already by faith and we walk by faith and no longer by sight. Hallelujah! Amen po ba? So, nagkakaroon ng progresyon. Tumataas. Kaya sabihin niyo sa inyo katabi, mataas na ba ang pananampalataya mo? Susunod po, pang lima. Ang pang lima, ay tingnan po natin. Sabi po sa pang lima, unwavering faith, this is the sincere and bendable. Hebrews chapter 10, beginning verse 23. Ang sabi po sa Hebrews 10, 23, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful. Sabihin niyo sa inyo katabi, huwag mong isusukog pangako ng salita ni Diyos. Pag pinangako niya na ikaw ay kakalooban niya na kanyang biyaya, na kanyang pagmamahal, gagawin niya po yun. Pag sinabi niya, may himala tayong tatanggapin, mangyayari po yun. Amen po ba? Pag sinabi ng Diyos, na gagawin niya, He never lies because God never slack in His promises hindi po natutulog ang Diyos. Lagi po siyang may ginagawang himala. Manampalataya lamang po tayo. Susunod po, number six, palakpakan po natin ang ating Panginoon. Pang-anin, pang-ikot, pang-ulo. Sabi po rito is the wavering faith, faith that doubts and is unstable in all his ways. James chapter 1, beginning verse 5 and 7. Tingnan po natin. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him, but let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the city driven and tossed by the wind, for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. Hebrews 11, 6, It is impossible to please God without faith. Amen? Especially when we have doubt in our heart, then we will not receive what we are asking from the Lord. Kaya sabihin niyo sa inyo, katabi, huwag kang magdududa sa kayang gawin ng Panginoon. Moving on, balik po tayo sa ating pinag-aaralan. Pagkatapos po ng 
uh, wavering faith, ang pagpito is the, of course, active faith. Ang active faith, we are already the doers of the word. James chapter 2, beginning verse 14 to 26. Ang sabi pa na salita ng Diyos, meron ka pang pananampalataya, meron din akong pananampalataya. But, your faith is dead. Bakit? Because you do not do what the word of God is telling you to do. Amen? So, pagka sinabing act of faith, ito yung we are confessing the word of God, we are declaring the word of God, we are telling everybody that God is in control of every situation and it is happening because of the active faith that is in us. Amen? Yung matibay mong pananampalataya sa ating Panginoon. Susunod po, tingnan po natin after the active faith, Ang pangawalo ay ang tinatawag po natin the genuine faith which permits no deception nor pretense it is a sincere faith that flows from a true heart with a desire to do what is right. James chapter 2 beginning verse 22. As sabi po rito, do you see that faith was working together with his works and by works faith was made perfect. God has given us a perfect faith. Moving on to the next slide please. Tingnan po natin at susunod po natin pag-aralan Ang sabi po dyan, after the levels of faith is the faith essentials that show it all. Number one is obedience to the faith. Acts chapter 6 beginning verse 7. Pinakita na po kanina. We should always be obedient to our faith. Nagkaroon po tayo na iba't ibang levels of faith. Sabi niyo nga sa inyo katabi, saan doon ang pananampalataya meron ka? Kaya lang po makakasagot niya. Nasa growing faith ka na ba? Nasa active faith ka na ba? Nasa genuine faith ka na ba? O saan ka na? Now, sabi na salita ni Diyos, we have to be obedient sa ating pananampalataya. Eto, sinasabi na salita ni Diyos, obedient tayo sa sinasabi na salita ni Diyos. Pangalawa, we should continue to the faith. Acts chapter 14, beginning verse 22. Ang sabi po sa Acts 14, 22, strengthening the souls of the disciples, exerting them to continue in the faith, and saying, we must, through many tribulations, enter the kingdom of God. Listen, church. Kanina sinasabi ko po sa inyo, faith will always be tested. Now, when that happens, ang sabi ng salita ng Diyos, just continue in the faith. Magpatuloy ka na. Sabi niyo nga sa inyo katabi, kahit na anong mangyari, magpatuloy ka. Kaya nga meron po tayong awit, kahit na anong mangyari, maglilingkod sa iyo. Ano mang mangyari, susunod sa iyo, pupurihin, ikay sasambali. Ano mang mangyari, na is mo'y gagawin aking Panginoon. Are you with me? Continue more in the faith. Kung yung mga patriarchs po natin, yung mga biblical heroes po natin, hindi nagkaroon ng pagpapatuloy sa kanyang pananampalataya, wala po tayong pananampalatayaan ngayon. Kung hindi ginawa ng Panginoong Iso Kristo, pinagagawa sa kanya ng Diyos ang sa langit, wala pong Yesus na magliligtas sa atin mula sa kadiliman, mula sa gawa ng kaawat. Walang Panginoong Yesus na magbibigay sa atin ng kagalingan. Are you with me? And of course, in Galatians chapter 1, beginning verse 23, we need to preach the faith. Huwag po natin ikahiya ng faith Diyos na nagbibigay sa atin ng panibagong bukas. Huwag po natin ikahiya na tayo binago ng Panginoon. Huwag po natin ikahiya na habang tayo nananampalataya sa ating Diyos na nagbigay ng panibagong buhay, ipangaral natin ang maputing balita. Because not unless and until we preach the word, nobody will believe the good report of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you with me? Kaya kailangan po natin ipangaral, kaya nga may great commission, mga kapatid. Na sinasabi ng salita ng Diyos, huwag mong ikahiya, ay diklara na may Jesus na nabatay, na may umay sa Christ ng Kambada, pero pagdating ay katong araw, na buhay na magmuli. Which is the right. Kaya nga, madalas ang sinasabi natin, misa sa loob ng opisina, nagkakagulatan, ay, born again ka rin pala. Kasi hindi halata, pareho tayo, hindi halata. Are you with me? Kaya preach the faith. And of course, in Habitat chapter 2, beginning verse 4, the word of God says, live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Tayo ay magbubuhay sa pananampalataya. And lastly, we should always be walking by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Walking by faith, not by what we see. Hindi mo kasi sinasabi, give me an evidence and I will believe. But the word of God says, you don't need evidence. The evidence is the cross himself. 
And that is more than enough for us to believe. Because only Jesus can do that at the cross of Calvary. Nobody can duplicate the church. No one can duplicate what Jesus has done at the cross of Calvary. Kaya kahit ulit-ulitin po kada Holy Week ang pagpapapako nila sa krus, that is senseless. That is useless. Because only Jesus had done everything. Moving on this, tingnan na po natin kung ang, ang, pag, ang pinag-aaralan na po natin. Faith in action. Based on Daniel chapter 1 and verse and, and chapter 3. Ito yung binasa na natin kanina. Number one, sabi po sa Daniel chapter 1, beginning verse 4 and 8. Tingnan po natin Daniel chapter 1, 4. Sabi po rito, There are four young men on whom there was no blemish but good looking, gifted in all wisdom, possessing knowledge, and quick to understand, who had the ability to serve in the king's palace, and whom they might teach the language and literature of the Chaldeans. Verse 8. Sabi po rito, but Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the chief of the eunuch that he might not defile himself. Number one po, para yung ating pananampalataya ay lalong mag-activate, ang kailangan po natin makita is that we should be with faith-filled people to avoid defilement. Surround yourself with people who pleases God. Surround ourselves with people who trust in God, who hope in God. Hebrews chapter 13, beginning verse 7. Tingnan po natin. Remember those who rule over you, who have spoken the word of God to you, whose faith follow, considering the outcome of their conduct. Bishop Brother Ed is a man of faith. Naalala ko po, nung nabipinagsisimula, nung ang, ang, ang simple po nating uh, gawain sa sa Bulacan, sa Bukawe, Bulacan, nandito pa lang po kami sa may harapan, at sinama niya po kami mag Jericho March doon sa may likuran. Isa lang po deklarasyon namin. Lagi sinasabi ni Brother Eddie, magkakaroon tayo dito ng worship center, magkakaroon tayo dito ng eskulahan. Ngayon po, you can visit our website. Nandito po ang Jesus is Lord Colleges Foundation at naroon din po ang ating studio para sa ZBN or Zoe Broadcasting Network. Lagi nyo lang po dinideklara no, magkakaroon tayo ng sariling TV station and it happened. We have our channel 11, we have our channel 33. Lagi nyo po dinideklara no, ni Brother Eddie sinasabi niya, Jesus is Lord over America, Jesus is Lord over Canada, Jesus is Lord over Africa, Jesus is Lord over Asia, and now, church, we are in 56 countries. Hallelujah! This is the declaration of the man of faith, the man of God, whom the Lord has raised up. That's why kami naman po nahawa kami lahat sa kanyang pananampalataya. Dahil we need to avoid defilement. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, beginning verse 33. Ang sinasabi po na salita ng Diyos in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 33, Do not be deceived, evil company corrupts good habits. Kaya pag ang mga kasama mo, lagi nagsasalita ng hindi maganda, ganun ka na rin maya-maya. Ang bilis makahawa, ang bilis maka-influensya. Tignan niyo po, pag samakay ka muna sa sakyan, ng jeep, or ng any public transport, at nagtutugtog, lahat sila, nagbabang ng head nila, ikaw hindi pa. Pero maya-maya, dahil ang tagal ng traffic, maya-maya pa ako, gumaganan-ganan na. Maya-maya, gumaganan-ganan ka na rin. Maya-maya, gumaganan-ganan ka na rin. Are you with me? Kasi ganun yung influence. Lalo na pag ang kasama mo, evil people. Kaya ang sabi sa 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, beginning verse 14, ang sabi pa na salita na just to which he called you by our gospel for the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. But, susunod the verse please. Yung susunod pong verse, Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you were taught, whether by word or our epistles. Stand fast in the word. Moving on to the slide, please. Balik po tayo sa slide, please. Ina po natin, number one, be, be with the faithful people to avoid defilement. Number two, as we have this faith in action, let's utilize the God's gift, which is the gift of faith. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, beginning verse 9. Tingnan po natin, let's show it everything. Sabi po 
dito sa first date sa, sa Daniel. Tinapon natin yung sinasabi po sa Daniel. Let's show everything. Daniel chapter 1 beginning verse 18 and 20. Sabi po sa Daniel chapter 1 beginning verse 18 and 20. Basahin ko naman po na mabilis. That they might seek mercies from God of heaven. Now at the end of the days when the king had said that they should be brought in, the chief of the eunuchs brought them in before the book of the Tsar. Then the king interviewed them and among them all the swan found like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Ito po si Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Sila po si Meshach, Shadrach, at Abednego. Pinalitan po yung kanilang pangalan. Therefore, they serve before the king and in all matters of wisdom and understanding about which the king examined them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers who were in all his realm. Nag-operate ang gifts na diniklara ni Daniel, hindi namin kakainin ang provision ng palasyo. Ang kakainin lang namin, vegetable. Kaya may tinatawag tayong Daniel's fast. Hindi rin kami iinom ng intoxicating wine. Kung ano yung sinabi yung salita ng Diyos, doon lang kami so that we will not be defiled. Right after, after 10 days, ano pong nangyari? Sabi ng salita ng Diyos, their wisdom was increased. The knowledge was increased. Therefore, they are operating in the gifts of the Holy Spirit of the living God. Now, we have to use the natural gift. The first gift or one of the gifts in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, beginning verse 9, but it put us in is the gift of faith. This is the supernatural ability to believe in God without doubt, the supernatural ability to combat and deliver, the supernatural ability to meet adverse circumstances with trust in God's messages and words, and the inner conviction in filled by an urgent and higher calling. I remember when I was a pastor in Parinaque, Yung isang pong caretaker po namin ay nagkaroon po ng gangrene. Talagang namagaho yung kanyang paa. And medically speaking, when you have gangrene, your only remedy is that it must be cut off. Hindi po ba, Dr. Angel? Kinakailangan talagang maputol, mapuputulan siya ng kanyang paa. Alam niyo po, nung dinanaw namin siya sa hospital, kinampay na po namin, matindi po ang faith ng tao po ito, ng aming caretaker, Sabi niya, Pastora, nananampalitaya ko, hindi ako mapuputulan ng paa. Sabi ko, sige, we agree in your faith. Pero talagang kitang-kita po namin, very severe ang kanyang gangrene. And nasa medical field po ako, kaya talagang sa nakikita ko, sasabihin ko, imposible hindi mapuputol ang kanyang paa. Pero ang pananampalataya niya, hindi ako mapuputulan ng paa. Dumalaw po kami after one week of confinement, Dinalaw po namin uli siya, although dinadalaw naman po siya everyday. Nung dumalaw po ako, hindi ko siya naratnan sa kanyang bed. Nanap po po siya, hindi ko siya makita. Balik ang uli ako sa kanyang bed. Sabi ko din sa mga kasabi niya, nasaan na ho yung, yung pasyente dito sa, sa bed na to? Alam niyo, sabi mo sa akin, mamak kami, ay, ando na sa kabilang kwarto. Sabi ko, anong ginagawa niya? Daladala niya ho yung dextrose niya. Sabi niya, oh, daladala niya yung dextrose niya at nangangaral ng salita ng Diyos at ipinagpipray ang lahat ng may sakit sa kabilang ward. Sinundan ko po at totoo nga, isa-isa niya ang pinagpipray ni Leleha, sinasabi niya, gagaling tayong lahat. Lalabas tayong lahat dito, magaling kasi ito ang pangako ng salita ng Diyos pag gagalingin niya tayo lahat sa ating sakit at karamdaman. Alam niyo, naiyak ako, na-review ko ako eh. Sabi ko, tingnan mo itong taong to, simpleng ang pananampalataya but firm in his faith. After a week, he was discharged. On the second week, he was discharged. Hindi ho naputo ng kanyang paa. Hallelujah! Glory to God! At totoo yung sinabi niya, lahat yung pinagpipray niya doon sa kalawang ward at doon sa ward na nakalabas po silang lahat. Pinagaling ng ating Panginoon Diyos. Kaya sabi niya sa inyo katabi, walang imposible sa Diyos. If you have the gift of faith. Moving on, pangatlo, pangapat. Nabilis nila naman po. Pangatlo, stand firm in your faith without wavering. We should be unwilling to compromise. Tingnan nyo sa verse 14 up to verse 18 of Daniel chapter 3. Sabi po sa Daniel chapter 3 beginning verse 14. Ang sabi po na salita ng ating Pailon, Nebuchadnezzar spoke saying to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the gold image which I have set up? Verse 15, itong sagot niya. Now if you are ready at the time, 
You hear the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and psaltery, and symphony with all kinds of music. You shall fall down and worship the image which I have made God, but if you do not worship, you shall be cast immediately into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. And who is the God who will deliver you from my hands? Kita niyong challenge si Nibukad Nesa. Sabi niya, sino maglilitas sa inyo? Dadalhin ko kayo, tatapon ko kayo doon sa urno na seven times ng pinainip. Kaya yung mga naghagis sa kanila, yun ang tinamaan ng apoy. Pero tingnan nyo, hindi sila nag-compromise. Alam po, sabi nila sa verse 17, If that is the case, o sabi nila sa verse uh, 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Oh, the of the sir, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and He will deliver us from your hand, O okay? king. But if not, let it be known to you, O okay, king, that we do not serve your God, or we will worship the gold image which we have set up. Hindi <laughs> kami yuyuko, mahal na haring ni Bukadnasar. Kahit na anong gawin nyo, hindi nyo mababali ang pananampalataya namin. Isa lang ang Diyos na aming luluhuran at paglilipuran. At ang pangalan niya ay walang iba kundi ang Panginoong Yesus Kristo na nagbigay ng buhay. Kaya nung nangyari, nang tinapon sila sa hurno, napataas o napatayo sa upuan ang mahal na hari. Sabi niya, di ba tatlo ang hinagis natin sa hurno? Bakit apat itong nakikita ko? At yung pang-apat looks like the Son of Man. Hallelujah! The Lord has delivered them because they did not compromise though their faith was tested through the fire. Number four. And sabi po sa number four as we have this faith in action, faith influences people. Daniel chapter 3 beginning verse 28 to 30. And the po ang nangyari, Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servant, who trusted in him, and they have persuaded the king's word, and yielded their bodies, that they should not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make a decree that any people, nation, or language which speaks anything amiss against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made an ash heap because there is no other God who can deliver like this. Nanampalataya si King Nebuchadnezzar na totoo ang Diyos na pinagliling ko ni Daniel, ni Shadrach, ni Meshach, at ni Abednego. Sino po ang Diyos na inyong pinagliling ko rin? Can you set me free? Can He remove you out of your trouble? Yes. In our application, what is our conclusion? Next slide, please. Ang ating pong application, our keys to faith is three. Believing, confessing, and hearing. Next slide, please. What do we need to do? Romans chapter 14, beginning verse 22. Can we show it? Sabi po rito, do you have faith? Have it to yourself before God. Because happy is he who does not condemn himself in what he approves. Sabihin niyo sa inyong katabi, meron ka bang pananampalataya? Pangalawa, tingnan po natin yung pangalawa. Ask him pray. James chapter 1, verses 6 to 8. Tingnan po natin. But let him ask in faith. With no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man and stable in all his ways. Ano pong pangangailangan niyo today? Do you need healing? Do you need the visitation of God? Do you have any burden that is so heavy na halos madurog ka sa iyong pananampalataya? Pero sabi na salita rin Diyos sa us in faith. Hindi tayong may pananampalataya. Mark 11, 24. Whatsoever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that you receive and you shall have it. Hallelujah. Believe that you receive and you will have it. In Jesus' name. Ask in faith. Ano po yung pangatlo? Ang sabi po doon sa pangatlo, 
James chapter 5, beginning verse 14 and 15. Tignan po natin ang sinasabi sa titan ng Diyos. Is anyone among you sick? Let him fall for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Pray in faith. Kaya ang naging panalangin ng mga apostles, Lord, increase our faith. Give us an increase in our faith. And this is our challenge this morning, church. Nothing is impossible with God. Let us come to the throne of Christ. We listening as we tell everything unto the Lord. Tumayo po tayong lahat. So umaga po ito, Sabihin po natin sa Panginoon, ano po ang mga bagay na nagpapahirap sa ating puso? Mayroon po ba tayong dala-dalahin na hindi po natin na halos kaya niyo? Iba po rito naghahanap ng trabaho, praying that you will have work. Iba rito may petition. At you're praying that yung petition niyo ay mag-rat na. Iba po rito praying for promotion. Iba po rito praying not for yourself but for other people that they will have the calmness, the peace, and the joy. Whatever it is right now, believe! Because God is able to grant every request. Ang kailangan lamang po, number one, let us not doubt in the ability of our God. Because God is able. Ang pangalawa, let us allow God to be our Lord, our Savior. Because He is a miracle working God. Ang pangatlo, let us confess and receive iniquity and transgression. And let us leave a holy and not from God. Shall we lift our hands unto the Lord? Sumunod po ang lahat sa panalain ko. Sabihin po natin, Panginoong Yesus. Marami pong salamat sa mga salita mo. Sa mga banal mo pong salita. Na nagbigay kalakasan sa aking buhay. Patawarin niyo po ako. Ikasabi po ako sa lahat ng aking mga kasalanan. Maging sa aking mga pagdududa. Maging sa mga pagkakataon that I have compromised my faith. Forgive me, my Lord. Cleanse me with your precious blood. Sanctify my life today. And Lord Jesus, I'm offering my life to you. Dedicating only to you. Ikaw lamang po maghari, maging Panginoon, tagapagligtas ng aking buhay. Sa pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus, nananapalataya po ako na may magandang bagay na magaganap sa aking buhay. Let your hands How great is our God Sing with me how great is our God The Lord will see how great How great is our God How great How great is our God Let's declare the greatness of God Sing with me how great is our God 
Sana po nakagalingan ka, nakasan, kaligtasan, kalayaan. Only God, only Jesus can do that. You need the divine intervention of God. You are at the crossroad right now. You need to make a decision. God will make a way. God can make a way. Yeah, financial difficulty. God can rebuke the devourer. As we have His faith in our heart, as we give to the Lord our tithes, God will give a financial breakthrough. What is your desire right now? Tell to Jesus He is here. Tell Jesus. Father, we pray that you increase our faith. Father, we pray that you remove, oh God, any doubt, any fear in us. And Lord, here we are, counting on you, believing on what you can do. Pagalingin mo ang bawat may sakit at karamdaman. Pagalingin mo ang may migraine. Maligin mo ang Panginoon o Diyos. Sa pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus, ang may komplikasyon sa kanyang puso. May komplikasyon, sa kay may bara ang Panginoon sa kanyang puso. Sa pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus. Heal every sickness and diseases, O oh God. Heal even women's diseases in the name of Jesus. Heal every tumor in Jesus Christ's name. Heal even cancer to cells, God, in the name of Jesus. Heal every pain, every struggle. Heal every relationship right now, O oh God, we pray. Heal every broken families in Jesus' name. Heal every bankruptcy, Lord, and poverty in the name of Jesus. Heal, oh God, and give solution to every problem right now. Because you are a God in the And there is nothing impossible in the day. Sa lahat na nangangailan na trabaho, I pray, buksan mo kalagitan para sa kanina, sa pangalan ng Panginoon Yesus. Sa lahat na nangangailan ng promotion, I pray in Jesus' name. Let that promotion come. Lord, let your divine intervention happen to those who are in the crossroad of their faith. I pray in Jesus' name. Intervene, God, as she help them decide. Lord, thank you as you heal the sick, as you heal every asthma attack, as you heal every eczema in the name of Jesus, as you heal the liver cirrhosis in Jesus' name. As you heal, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, of poor eyesight. Even, oh Lord, as you heal in the mighty name of Jesus, ang kanyang kaliwang tenga na may depekto sa pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus. I speak, God, that you rebuke sickness and diseases. In Jesus' name, they will bow down. They will bow down. Lord, I release according to their faith right now the answers to every petition. Begin to thank the Lord right now, church. Begin to thank God for your healing as the Lord heals your goiter, as the Lord heals the thyroidism in the name of Jesus. Begin to praise God and worship the Lord as the Lord continually make a way in your lives right now. And thank you. Lord, bless your people. Tapos po natin ating kamay. Lord, let them receive the blessings and the favor. Let them receive the miracle right now. Let them receive prosperity and great success. Let them receive in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth everything that they ask of, everything that they pray for, according to their faith. Let it be done. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase everything in your life. Good health, great success, even financial breakthrough, as the Lord has done it according to His word. The Lord be glorified as we bring back all the praise and the glory to God and God alone. This we ask this we pray. In Jesus' name, everybody say.